When a baby is born after spending over 6,500 hours inside a woman, the first person the child sees is most likely to be a woman. From there, the infant will most likely spend most of its childhood in presence of its mother, being fed, cleaned and entertained. The men in the kid's life are there obviously, but unless they are single dads, they spend considerably less time with the kids compared to women. So guys, today's video is a dedication to all ladies, and to be specific, the African woman, the mother of mankind who has wandered barefoot from the beginning of time in the wastelands and in the jungles, scorched by the sun and drenched in the tropical storms as she focuses on just but one thing, food and survival for her family. So without wasting any more time guys, let's get to it. Shall we? Jumbo, welcome to Real Positive Africa, where your view of Africa will change for the better. This is where you will change your negative mentality about Africa and adopt a positive one. Her world has obviously been underrated over the centuries, but in recent times we have seen many organizations sprout out fighting for her rights and equality among men. The laws has been made to protect her and some argue that so much attention has been given to her that the boy child has ended up being forgotten. That is however debatable. This video is not to point out who should or should not be given attention. It is simply a reminder to the world of who the African woman really is. To many she is but a mere item of pleasure, a device to play with. While sadly to others, she is an item for sale, some merchandise to be locked up in an underground basement, bare fed in the hundreds to be sold off overseas. To them white supremacists, she might not even qualify to be deemed human. Don't be surprised to see a kid of a white supremacist family who has never seen a black guy in person having a very ill perception of black people thanks to the environment in which the kid lives in and the media. All these people don't have even the slightest idea of who the daughter of Africa is. That is one of the main reasons why I took it upon myself to scratch the surface about the African queen. If anyone should feel offended by my choice of words, my apologies. But if you take offense in my celebrating the African woman, you obviously have a glorified self-deception and my suggestion is that you seek professional help. The African woman has been the spine of God's black tribe. She has the power of a bulldozer and the will of a matador. She is strong and she overcomes a lot. She is an epitome of strength envied by women all over the world. But her strength and will to overcome anything that life throws her way is more than often the reason she goes through a lot of hardships. Everyone knows how strong she is and she is left to deal with her problems because she can. Despite the fact that she is human and she still bleeds when she hurts. When the daughter of Africa loves, it is without compromise. She becomes the backbone of her man and will do anything for the well-being of those that she loves. She is the pride of her man, a true symbol of a refreshing compassion, a love reflecting in everything from childcare to the dining table. Truly a harmony she is in the storm of life. Her perpetual beauty transcends time and season. She happens to be the best of the portraits that nature paints. Oh, she is beautiful and her smile hypnotic. Her dark skin in shades of caramel, chocolate, ebony, beige, honey, espresso is more beautiful than the night sky. She is a wonder, the epitome of kindness and goodness. She is a special gift to the world with her kinky afro like the soft cushions of cumulus in the daytime sky. And here's a fun fact. Did you know that her light surpasses all celestial stars? Well, now you know. 
the African woman should be seen and treated like the queen she is. All women should, for she brings joy in the morning, a treasure so priceless. She carries the future of the continent in her womb and nurtures it to maturity. So let her down, one should not. Gone are the times when she was deemed as a vessel of life, nothing more. Change is inevitable and she should be given a chance to contribute in any field she is good at. And do not be surprised if she outshines her peers. She should be given the honor she deserves since she is the keeper of the society from ancient times and even today. As the men flock to towns in search of jobs, she is the one who tends the farms, the livestock and the kids. She is the caretaker of the forest, the nation builder, and when all is not well, she is the smile giver, the tear wiper. An African single woman, an embodiment of masculinity and femininity, beacon of hope in her child. Look down upon and downtrodden when she does a little more than the society expects her to. She is made of limestone and cement. She is the Eve of the African Eden, the lioness of the African savannah, and she never bends nor does she give in. All daughters of the soil out there, wherever you are, we love you, we cherish you. Oh, and when it comes to her, I can talk, I can talk and talk until the cows come back home, for she is God's co-creator, the essence of a real woman. So. Before you look down on her, remember who she is.